hello and welcome. In this tutorial we're gonna transfer our simple 3D Studio Max animation to LD laser format. For this we're gonna need 3D Studio Max. It doesn't really matter what kind of version. If you have older one it's great and if you have newer one it's great too. We're gonna need Illustrate and we're gonna need Laser Boy. As you can see, there's a simple animation I've done. And uh, it only takes, I don't know, five minutes to do. So before we're going to start, I'm going to point out a really important thing. It's that every object must have AutoCAD color. Otherwise, uh, laser boy doesn't really uh, recognize the colors, and it's basically it's not exactly as as you planned. So let's go and try to render it. Just a first frame, and it's just basic. Mm, I don't know, early '90s computer animation. So, so but instead of a regular render, we're gonna use Illustrate go to your render options and I'm using 800 by 600 just really big pain in the ass so over here we're gonna use illustrate as a renderer and as you can see on the top we have options so first of all select vector and click those two. If two objects join together and you unclick those ones, there's not going to be any line. But if you click those ones, uh, you'll see the line between two objects. For example, you have a sphere and you have cube, and they're basically one touching each other. If you uncheck uh, uncheck those two. You're not gonna see the line. If you cl uh, click those ones, you'll see the line. And we're gonna use AutoCAD DXF. Uncheck those ones. You're not gonna need it. And render. And as you can see, it's all in vector formats. But as you can see, it's black and white, so we're gonna change it. To colors. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Just go to Illustrate Options. Skip that. And basically that's the heart and the soul of Illustrate. Basically it's different styles so you can as as like assign every style to different objects. Some objects uh, like for example you want like a uh, translucent clue uh, cube or another one you don't want it so like uh, let me show you just basic steps and after that you just can play around and figure out on yourself by yourself so select that one and check that one but we're not gonna need it it's for cartoonization and lines and object materials you select that one and this button applies to all objects and this one when you select it applies to only one object so apply to all and render it and voila you have your colors now what we're gonna do is render it to DXF and transfer it to uh, Laser Boy and from Laser Boy to like to anywhere basically. So what we have to do is just go to render options, render, and over here select files and um, I think it was um, mm, Laser Boy, DXF, 
and make a new directory called um, mm, tower go there name it tr save now if you render once it's gonna create just one image but if you render it if you render all the frames like example go over here and make it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, every fee frame for example and uh, 220 by 240 it's fine and you just yes render it now we're gonna go to uh, laser boy and see what's what so this thing was it originally designed on a, a unix linux base pl uh, like a platform so basically it looks like that uh, it's open source if you're a developer through some GUI interface on it but for now it's pretty simple i two three tower and as you can see there is your tower now what you have to do is two main ste steps so go H and shift D it basically uh, kills all unnecessary lines and just optimize the thing and now you have to convert your palette from DXF to default basically it's a pangolin part so what you have to do is go P and shift A and basically that's all you have to do press O3 and call it tower and that's it and now launch energy it just the viewer open and um, tower and as you can see you have your tower and uh, to make it just perfect delete the last one and it should go and basically it's how it's done pretty simple I hope it's gonna help I, I hope it's gonna uh, encourage people to do more animation because all animations I've seen so far they're basically um, they're museum pieces from uh, last century. So that's all. Take care. Bye bye.